So far, this is the most incriminating evidence against Tay-Tay. That's not a great one, Tay-Tay. What's up, guys? How you doing? I'm Paul. Taylor Swift, is she a witch? Well, guess what? Ya boy. Oh, I forgot to put cat statue in the background. Morgan, right here on this side. Thank you, milady. Before we start diving into some very interesting things regarding Taylor Swift and potential witchery, I got notes, baby. I've been doing some research. I wanted to say shout out to our patrons. This channel takes a lot of work and the monthly support from you guys is huge. We couldn't be here doing this without you all. Guys, if you wanna become a patron and support what we're doing on this channel, we do patron-only Zoom calls, weekly patron encouragement videos, and other perks like 30% off of the new merch drop that is about to happen. Stay tuned. If you wanna become a patron, patreon.com slash Paul and Morgan show. The link is below. All right, I got notes. I'm gonna start going down the list of what many say, look, here is what Taylor Swift has done, what she's doing in her heiress tour, what she's done in her music videos, what she said, and so forth. So she's definitely a witch. We're gonna look through these and see what merit they have. I think that's a good way to do it. Starting with, there have been recent reports. Morgan, have you heard about this? Have you heard the recent reports that people are leaving the Taylor Swift heiress concert and the next day they get up and they can't remember chunks of the concert and there are people that are saying it's because perhaps Taylor Swift is casting spells that are causing memory loss. Amnesia. No, I have not heard that. You've not heard these reports? Apparently it's like a pretty big I thing. I heard about amnesia, but not that it's because she's a witch and she's casting spells. Okay, so Morgan's heard a little bit. That is just a report. There are, I was watching like this news clip where they were talking about it and they said, this appears to be from sensory overload. That's what's causing the am amnesia. But then you got other people that are saying, eh, no, this is like demonic overload. There's spells happening here and that's what's happening. Taylor Swift fans claim post-concert amnesia due to bizarre phenomenon. Again, I'm telling y'all, this is demonic music putting you in a trance giving you demonic spirits, opening the door to demons as you're under the spell she's putting you on. I'm gonna leave that one alone for now and move on to the next one without going too deep into that one. People are saying it appears that she is performing rituals. Specifically, they're pointing to one song and there's a clip that's big on TikTok. I'll play it right here. Most recent concert, Taylor Swift is performing witchcraft. And I know this is gonna raise some controversy in the comments, but this just doesn't look right to me. We are the you Yeesh. I'll be honest, like, that definitely looks ritualistic. Um, that song in and of itself, and guys, real quick, before I, before I continue, before I continue, I was thinking about making this video and I'm like, okay, you know, we've been talking about the music stuff, it seems like a lot lately, and I just made a YouTube short uh, on the topic where we were sharing some, some concerns about Taylor Swift and now I'm going into more of the witchy stuff. I'm like, am I just, am I overdoing it in this sphere with Taylor Swift and the music industry and so forth? But there's so much interest in this and when I think about Taylor Swift and Morgan and I were talking about this earlier, the Christians flock to this woman. They flock to this woman. Morgan said uh, she kind of referred to it as their golden calf. And I'm like, man, there's Christians that are going to defend this woman and why they're going to go to her concerts, the heiress to her, why they're going to listen to her music, that she can do no wrong, that they're never going to stop. We had someone recently say there is nothing. What was it, Morgan? Like There was nothing that anyone can do or say that will keep me from listening to Taylor Swift. Something along those lines, and I'm just like, all right, whether we come to the conclusion that Taylor Swift is a witch or not, I think some Christians need to reflect and see, am I idolizing this person in my heart? Am I adoring her and she can literally do no wrong? And I know all of her lyrics and all of blah, blah, blah. And as Morgan said, I can't quote more than one Bible verse, but I know every lyric and every hidden meaning. So anyway, there's some idolization going on and we need to check ourselves whether she's a witch or not. But back to what I was saying, yeah, this does look like a, a ritual, whether they're doing it in a very artsy way. Let's just make this song, Willow, look very mysterious. It, it's looking 
pretty occultish, if you ask me. And now to get on to the next one, which is piggybacking off this one, she has what she calls the Lonely Witch version of Willow. So this song, I believe there's a few versions of it, and there's a Lonely Witch version, which to my knowledge is more like instrumental or maybe some tweaks to it, but it's literally called the Lonely Witch version. And she made a post, which you can see here, where she literally says, witches be like, sometimes I just want to listen to music while pining away, sulking, staring out the window. It's me, I'm witches. Never fear, the Willow Lonely Witch remix is here with the crystal ball. That's Taylor Swift posting that. Now, when I read that, you guys, listen, just, you guys are allowed to come up to whatever conclusions you want each time we, we, each new thing that we're going over here. If for you, you read that and you're like, that is all I need to hear, a thousand percent a witch, that's fine. Part of me thinks that could be kind of just a trendy thing. I think right now, the whole witch stuff, good witch, I, I literally go to the bookstore and see all these books on witches, and it's like, it almost feels very trendy and she's kind of like come on everybody join me witches and she's not actually a witch or we could take her at her word and say she's saying hey witches i'm a witch that she is indeed a witch so far this is the most incriminating is that the right word incriminating evidence against Tay Tay. That's not a great one, Tay Tay. And just even reading that, even if even if she is just jumping on the trendy bandwagon and thinks this is gonna help her sell more of this song and add to the mystery of it, when she makes a post like that and kind of identifies as a witch, it makes me think she probably is embracing some occult things. Are you and then this is where it's like it just amazes me so much when I see Christians who are gonna go to the Eris concert and sing every word to every song and just soak this stuff in and it's like, ooh, like at least we should be a little bit on edge here. At least we should be a little bit like inquiring in our spirits, spirit using spiritual discernment. Is this something that you really not just wanna like you know, check out and observe, but go head first in and take part in. When she's saying, hey, witches, you know, we made this witch remix. I think that probably is in indicative that she is participating in and embracing some occult things, more than likely. Also, she has a clip in her song Karma, which that song in itself, eww, um, but she's wearing a devil mask. She's got demon looking things dancing around her. <laughs> Now, the whole music video, I was watching a good amount of it earlier. It's not all demonic looking like that. There's lots of different scenes that she puts herself in, and that's just one that's, you know, five, ten seconds. But it is in there, and it is dark looking. Uh, also, just karma in and of itself, the meaning of karma. It's a Hindu, new agey term. Don't love that. Also, 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 the next one is she... Uh, has used snakes and uh, just very dark snake imagery. That's not a great look. I, in my research, watched some of the heavy hitters in the kind of occult deliverance ministry guys. I watched uh, Isaiah Saldivar, good amount of his video. I watched some, a little bit of the Vlad. I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name, but two of the heavy hitters in that genre to get their take on Tay Tay, and I gleaned some stuff from them. Also watched a couple TikTok videos, a random podcast of guys that appeared not to be Christians that were calling Taylor a witch. They were like dropping F words and all that, but they were saying she's a witch, and I'm like, okay, all right, let's put all of this in a pot. I was gonna say a cauldron, but I'm not gonna go there. We're not, hey, no, we are not going there. Put it all in a pot, and we have a ladle that we are just mixing it up in, and then we're gonna see what it tastes like. Is Taylor Swift, from all the evidence we have, is she a witch? Many of these things are not a great look. Many of these things are indeed concerning, especially for Christians. Am I going to hop on and say, oh, a thousand percent Taylor Swift is a witch practicing witchcraft embedded in the occult? Um, no. Some of you guys are gonna really be sad at me and angry at me for saying this, but no, I'm not gonna go there. Could she be a witch? 
Could she be exactly what I just described? Yes, she could. Am I 100% that she is? No. However, guys, don't mess with this stuff. The Bible warns against it. I think the bigger thing to take away from this is many people that do not have the Spirit of God living inside of them, and maybe even some that are being sanctified and are on that journey, they partner with the demonic. And if you look at what scripture says, there's plenty of different verses, but it talks about not giving the devil a foothold. Guys, when we give the devil a foothold with sin in our lives, that is allowing the demonic to root itself within us and it produces dark fruit. There's a verse in James that's talking about wisdom and it says, if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambition in your heart, such wisdom is demonic. It literally says is demonic. These type of things, engaging in this sin and letting this sin fester in our hearts. Demonic. We are partnering with the demonic. That, to me, is a bigger, more concerning issue. Not saying this other stuff isn't an issue, isn't concerning, but it's like we oftentimes as Christians see these videos pop up and we are like, oh my goodness, like this stuff is huge. I got to stay so far away from that. But then... We are okay with allowing these sins that the Bible clearly indicates are sins fester in our lives and we're giving Satan a foothold and we are partnering with the demonic and even with demons in the demonic realm when we need to come into the light and turn from these things and get far away from these things. We're allowing ourselves to be kind of cozying up to these things which are demonic, but we would not be within a million feet of these other things which look like they have some occultist symbolism. Stay away from that stuff, but let's also get right with God, live righteously, turn from evil, repent and not give Satan and the demonic realm a foothold in our lives. Guys, comment below, where are you at with Taylor Swift? I say all that to say, and if you watched our YouTube short that we posted recently, we're not, we have no intention to go to Taylor Swift, heiress, concert you guys there's probably going to be some people who watch this that have gone to it maybe loved it i see the way that so many defend taylor swift like crazy i would caution against that beyond just the witch talk there's just the things that i are almost more concerning to me with taylor swift the things that she has embraced and i think she even in one of her documentaries from a little bit ago called herself a christian ish that red flags all over that when she's embracing so many things, so many things that I would just say are are ungodly, godless of this world. Um, and those are the things along with perhaps some witchy demonic imagery that would keep me from going to a Taylor Swift heiress concert. I'm I'm frankly pretty shocked and kind of saddened when I see Christians just adoring her, going to the concerts, knowing all the lyrics to even her newer songs, Karma, and these songs that are just bleh. And so I would caution you guys, caution maybe uh, if you're someone that was naive to some of this and just you grew up with Taylor Swift or you just are kind of caught up in all of the, the passion, she puts on an amazing show, so I'm going to go and gush all over her, maybe take a step back guys and really examine you know where you're spending your time what is coming out of your mouth when you sing these songs with her what you are embracing at these concerts all right guys comment below would you go to a taylor swift heiress concert would you uh, jump in that tour or uh are you saying no thank you i would be curious to hear your thoughts keep the combo going keep it alive thank you guys for being here cat statue oh that is a striking angle cat statue you are one fine looking cat statue. Don't come at me guys for saying, oh, this is a cat statue is demonic. No, I, in Jesus name, that cat statue is not demonic. Let's not go over the top overboard crazy. All right guys, we love you all very much. Have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll catch you again very soon. Have hope and be free. Hey guys, as you may have noticed, we get very few brand deals. A big reason for that is because we make unashamedly Christian content. We've had brand deals taken away from us because people who don't like us reach out to them and demand that they cancel us. Due to the fact that we stand on what the Bible says and we don't conform to culture. Which is why our patrons, the names you see here, are so important. You guys really are the lifeblood of this ministry. We could not do it without you all. If you guys believe in this content and you want to partner with us on Patreon, go to patreon.com slash paulandmorganshow or click the link in the description. Go, Go team. team. That was the one. That was the one. <laughs>